Today we're gonna to be unboxing the brand new DJI Osmo Pocket, probably the smallest vlogging camera ever made, and I am so excited. I think I've even convinced my wife that unboxings are cool. Oh yeah, they're so amazing. Now that we paid her off, let's crack this thing open. So DJI is my favorite gimbal company and they're kind of turning into like my favorite camera company too when you consider the cameras that they put on drones, the cameras that they put on their other gimbals. They're really turning into a camera powerhouse, not just a drone powerhouse. So, you know, one of my favorite gimbals of all time is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, uh, which is back on that shelf back there. So if this can combine all of that into one, that would be amazing and I just, I love what they're doing. So let's see here, Osmo Pocket. All of this boring stuff. Get it on Google, download in the App Store, DJI Mimo app, made for iPhone. Why would I wanna get it on Google then if it's made for iPhone? This thing is already small. So I did hold one of these um, while we were at Spin Up and it is, these things are tiny. So if it can do well, I'm excited. Now I haven't watched any videos on this yet, but I have seen some Twitter posts about like how the audio is bad if you don't do the, d the day one update, so. We're gonna unbox this thing and then give it some, am I gonna have to tear this box? I don't wanna tear the box, the box looks really nice. All right, we're going in. We have some safety scissors today because you know, gotta be safe, right? Let's make sure we don't cut the, oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, I found how it opens. <laughs> okay, so we got Osmo Shield and uh, some stuff in, visit our site for more. Okay, probably won't, but. All right, you get out of the way. So what do we get in the box? The box feels, I can't tell if this box feels nice or feels crappy. Okay, so the box is pretty bare. We got the camera. We got the little case thing. It's a pretty sweet little case. Look at that, that's adorable. That is an adorable case. We definitely have to figure out today before we go outside if this will actually fit in my pocket or not. Cause it's the Osmo pocket. If it won't fit in the pocket, it's the Osmo not pocket. We get some books. One thing DJI is always good about is giving you literature to read when you buy their products. Thank you DJI for promoting literacy. I appreciate it. Okay, we got a little wrist strap. Does anybody use the wrist strap on this thing? I ask, one of the questions I like to ask during unboxings is, who actually uses the straps? Like, are you gonna strap it onto this thing? That is small. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. What kind of cable does, what kind of cable comes in the box? There we go. Okay, we have a, a USB to USB-C, which is, isn't it supposed to plug into, oh, it, it charges with that. Okay, it charges with that. Um, wait, it, there's not a, okay. I just found something that I already don't like, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Tripod mounts, man, they're not that difficult. Okay, so we got some little adapters here. I think this is to plug your phone into, and since I have an iPhone. Okay, so we, the camera ran out of storage space, you know, XQD cards. So we have plugged that little dongle in and we're currently updating to the latest firmware. So if you've ever used a DJI product, you know that like the second you get it, you're gonna have to update it. Now that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like that when there's little problems that they find like during testing, they immediately release that. So one of the issues that I've read was the audio with like the stock experience was just very bad. So I like when they do stuff like update it so that on day one, I don't have those problems. You will just, just accept it. The second you open up a DJI drone or a device like this, you will have to update it. Update successful. Okay, let's start creating. So things that it can do, let's find out. So I think you can what? Like how do I? Slide to select shooting mode, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Just let me mess with stuff. Okay, okay, just let me mess with stuff, please. Okay, so we can mess with the gimbal from the screen, that's pretty darn cool. Now to access, from what I've seen, to access a lot of the pro features, you do have to have it plugged into the phone, but that's not necessarily a requirement. I mean, we can track, we can track my Nikon Z6 over there. It's pretty cool. Look at it go. 
Man, that is really cool. Okay, there we go. Let's do 4K, because I like 4K 30, so we'll do 4K 30. Can we do quality? Oh, we can't do quality. Super fine in 4K. 4K is super fine. <laughs> okay, so we got, uh, let's make sure we got 4K 30. So let's record. This thing's getting kind of warm though. It's only, it's barely been on and it's starting to get warm. I don't know if it has any overheating problems. We'll have to figure that out, but. So we got the box. Okay, so we're recording. This is what uh, the image quality looks like. That's pretty cool. Can we swap to selfie mode? Of course we can. Hey, what's up? Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the image quality out of the Osmo Pocket. That's pretty cool. I like that I can, you know, can you see that? I like that I can see myself from my phone. Here, I'll, I'll give you guys more of the experience. Let's swap you back over. So there we go. There's the video quality out of the DJI Osmo Pocket in very low light in the studio setting. I mean, you can see this is exactly what we we're, were just seeing on the Nikon Z6. And this is the Osmo Pocket plugged into a phone. This thing is shockingly small. Like, is it tracking my face at all? I can't, nope. I'm looking over there, I don't see it, but. Okay, we're gonna mess around with a few more settings in the studio, then we're gonna hop outside for the vlogging test, which is the most important test, right? Okay. I was gonna do like a snap transition, but I don't need to do that, because we're already here. Okay, so that's what we can do. We can do slow motion, we can do time lapse, slow motion, video, all that stuff from the, all that stuff from the phone, but how does it work? Ugh. I don't care really how it works with the phone. What I'm more curious about is how does it work as a standalone product? Because that is how I could imagine myself using this. So the reason I got this one is yes, I wanna make videos about it, but I'm always on the lookout for something small like this that can kind of like be my cameraman. Like I don't, um, I don't have a cameraman, it's just me. But if I can get something relatively small and easy to use that can like, I can trick and be like a quasi cameraman, that's the real reason I got this. Um, Recenter, one, two, three. So now we're gonna check the image quality just from the uh, just from the camera itself. So I think you control it. How do you control, does not, okay. Let's do that, recenter. No, I want you to move though. Okay, there's the auto exposure. I don't want auto exposure though, I want recenter. I don't wanna recenter, I wanna move the, uh... Okay, there, okay, I found it. So you gotta go to the edge if you didn't need the phone to move it around like that. Okay, so this is the image quality of the studio with the uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket. Let's flop it around to selfie mode. Okay, and this again is the image quality coming out of the DJI Osmo Pocket when it's just working on the SD card and recording straight internally. Now, for, again, from what I've read, it does a lot of the pro features when you have it plugged into the phone, but it doesn't necessarily do all of them when it's just doing the camera internally. So. Can we expose to some to something else other than my face? Nope, well, let's expose to my face. Will it track it? Will it track my face? So this is also the audio quality coming out of the Osmo Pocket. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Uh, I'm really excited to see how this footage looks because if this is, the only thing that I don't like about this so far is it is kind of cropped in. Like I've got my arm fully extended. If I wanted to do something that was more comfortable to hold, we would, you know, we're a little too close to each other. And one of the really big negatives that I'm seeing is there's no like, is there's no tripod mount. So even if I wanted to mount this to a selfie stick to get some more range, I'm gonna have to come up with an elegant solution to do that, which is kind of frustrating. I would imagine a camera like this would be perfect to have a tripod mount and mount on tripods. I think there's accessories that you can get for that, but that kind of stinks. Okay, so we've done the indoor test. We've checked all this stuff out. Let's hop outside for the official vlogging test because this is kind of going to be a vlogging kit. But I'll tell you what, this sucker's hot right now. Like, it's not burning me, but it feels like the RX100 Mark V does right before it overheats. I don't know if this thing's had a problem with overheating, but it already feels warm, and we have, we've only been recording for three minutes. Okay, let's hop outside for the vlogging test. <laughs> okay, welcome to the initial vlogging test of the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now, it seems like every single time we come out to do like an initial unboxing vlogging test, it's always raining. It happened with the Pixel, it happened with the iPhone XR, and now it's happening with the Osmo Pocket. So something I do wanna mention as we do this, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a bit of a wider angle, and that's because I had this universal clamp that clamps the things and gives you a quarter inch or a three eighths inch adapter, and so we're gonna use it on a Joby tripod with the Osmo Pocket. How awesome is that? <laughs> oh, 
And a really quick test that we forgot to do inside. The Osmo Pocket does fit in my pocket. And my phone's in there too, so everything fits in there. Okay, I'll let you keep that name, DJI, but what we're really here for is the vlogging test. I'm trying to balance everything right now because it's raining. I'm trying to keep the camera from being destroyed. What a frustrating, why does it have to rain? Like, don't rain. So something else I really like about the Osmo Pocket that I found out is just how quick it is to turn on. Like generally when it comes to action cameras or other kind of like small vlogging cameras, it takes a minute for it to like work. This is just like, look, watch. On. One, two, three, four, five. It's ready to go. Five, about five seconds and it's ready to go. That's pretty, that's pretty darn quick. So you'll never really miss anything due to like the speed of the camera. The camera's fast. Okay. We're in selfie mode. We're ready to go. Vlogging test begin. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, so here is my just quick initial vlogging test, video test of the DJI Osmo Pocket. It will be a little wider because, you know, I do have this on the Joby tripod, like I said. I also figured out how to get face tracking to work, which is a pretty darn cool feature for a gimbaled camera with, you know, this screen on it, is when you initially turn it on, it will do face track, but then if it loses your face, once you recenter it, it'll work perfectly, which is awesome. So we're currently recording in 4K 30 frames per second. We've got it all going. This is the audio, just straight out of the camera. I didn't have time. You know, the good thing about being rushed for uh, time on these things is you don't have time to like get out the audio recorder and get everything working perfectly. So this is the audio straight out of the Osmo Pocket. Everything is just straight out of camera. This is as far as I can extend it with the Joby GorillaPod. I do, I think the two biggest complaints I'm gonna end up having with this camera is one, there's no tripod mount on it, so you gotta do things like buy the accessory, which I'm never a big fan of buying accessories unless it comes with the camera, which it certainly did not. I don't like buying accessories to get tripod mounts. I give GoPro heck for that all the time. I don't like how tight in the shot is. Like, if this is supposed to be... Does it keep my face? Does it keep my face? Okay, good job. How do you keep my face? Are you on my face? I'm turning the camera all the way. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that, I do like the face tracking. Um, but I don't like how narrow this shot is. Something that I like about vlogging cameras, something that I look for in a vlogging camera, I don't vlog very often, but when I wanna do video where it's like me talking at the camera, I want the shot to be as wide as possible. This is just a little too, there, this is fully extended with the Jer Joby Grill Pod. This is just a little too tight for me. Maybe a little bit wider would have been nice. I don't mean like GoPro Super View, where you get all that weird fisheye distortion, but a little bit would have been good. This is both a video, audio, and low light test, because look how gross it is. It's gross out here. And the low light is exacerbated by the umbrella, because I don't want to get rained on, and I don't want the brand new camera to get destroyed. So this is just me walking. Let's do running. How does it work running? Running, 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 running. Whoa, the umbrella. The umbrella. <laughs> so this has been the initial test of both the audio and the video of the DJI Osmo Pocket. Let me know what else you guys want to see from this camera. Leave a comment below. And if you're looking at the Osmo Pocket or you have one, what are some of your features? What are some of your favorite features? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go get inside before I get too soaking wet. <laughs>